Welcome to Electra Online. So what kind of problems are we going to see in this particular playlist, in this particular section of algebra, when we're dealing with simplifying radical expressions? Well, we need to use some of the rules that we saw just a couple of videos ago, but essentially we'll see things such as this. We have the square root of 2x times the square root of 3y, and how do we rewrite that? How do we simplify that? So typically we want to combine the two if we cannot simplify each one of them separately and then we'll see what we end up with. But notice if we can solve these or simplify these separately first, we need to do that before we combine them. Sometimes we see something like this, the square root of a pretty big number. And rather than grabbing our calculator, can we figure out how to simplify that? And so we'll show you the techniques there. Notice when we have a radical in the denominator, we need to what we call rationalize the denominator and we'll show you how to deal with something like this. When we see a fraction like this or this, we need to first simplify it by separating the numerator from the denominator and write them as a separate radical, the square root of the 3 in the numerator and the square root of x to the 6th power in the denominator. We want to do the same over here and then simplify that. If we see something like this where the power is larger than the root, we need to write that in a simplified fashion and again we'll learn the technique. We'll learn something about how to find the determinant when we're given an expression like this. We need to learn how to approximate a square root without using calculators. Yes indeed, there's a benefit in doing that. And finally we need to solve for like a variable inside of an equation, then we're given the value of the other variable and then we have to solve for that, typically requiring a root or a cube root or something like that. So these are the type of problems in this section. So if you're interested, stay tuned and we'll show you how to solve each one of these. And that is how it's done.